I talk a lot about Canva because I know so many people use it and it's free. But as a designer, I actually use Adobe software to design everything. And I've had several people that aren't designers tell me that they too use Adobe, but they struggle with learning how to use it well. So today I want to talk to you about using InDesign to create PDFs. The first thing that I always do when I start an InDesign document is go to the master pages. This is where you can insert any object or text that you want to appear on every single page. Now you can override it for specific pages if you ever need to, but this is great for inserting page numbers or footer text. Then I'll go to the swatches tab and create a color group, which is basically a color palette for your document. This makes it really easy to access your colors for the document and be consistent in your usage of the colors. Now I recommend using two to three colors within a PDF. That way it has a more cohesive feel. Next, I'll go to the character styles and set up styles to be used throughout the document. This again will help you be consistent in your font usage. You can select a line of text and apply a style like for your headings, your subheadings, or body text. And last, sometimes I need to make a PDF interactive and it's really easy. All you have to do is select a text box or a shape and then go up to object, find the interactive tab, and then convert it to whatever interactive element you want it to be and then make sure you export your PDF to be interactive. If you have any InDesign questions, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. 